Hi guys, so today I'm gonna to be answering this question, does your undergrad really matter? This video is gonna be good for anyone who's applying to dental school or applying to other postgraduate uh, schools or even a high school student who is looking for a college to go to. So when I graduated from high school, I had to make a really big decision on what undergraduate school I was gonna go to. There were two or three schools that I had in mind and it took a lot of time for me to really find the pros and cons of each of these schools and then I ended up choosing Grand Canyon University in Arizona. I think when choosing undergraduate schools right out of high school, a lot of students tend to look for the school that has like the best reputation, whether that be because they just want to say they went to that school or they're looking further ahead for uh, postgraduate schools and they think that that might give them an edge above another applicant. But I personally think that any undergraduate school that you go to is a great school. As long as you take the specific classes that are required for your postgraduate school or your job or whatever that may be, then you're good to go. I'm not gonna lie, I was a little afraid that my undergraduate might put me below another applicant just because when I was doing my dental school interviews and I met all these people, they were all like, oh, I went to UCLA and I just graduated from NYU and these really, really big name schools that pretty much everybody knows about. When I was applying, I didn't meet one person who went to my school. I met people who went to ASU or U of A, but I didn't meet anybody who actually went to my school. So I've kind of been like going off topic, but to answer the question, I really don't think that your undergraduate should matter. I think that as long as you get your degree and as long as you have the requirements to apply to whatever postgraduate program you want to go to, then you should be perfectly fine because at the end of the day, the bachelor's degree that you have is pretty much the same anywhere. I personally think that there are a lot of people out there who believe that a bachelor's degree from a school is higher or lower than a bachelor's degree from another school. I think that your undergrad choice is really important because you want to make sure that there is a good transition from high school to college for you because I've seen way too many people that I know go to undergrad and then absolutely hate it and then they take a semester off or they decide to change schools and they just never go back to school so they never ever even finish. When I was in undergrad, I kind of didn't really know how significant your major would be. My plan was to just take prerequisites and then kind of figure out what it is I wanted to do. And I always had dental school in the back of my mind, but I also thought about medical school or just something in the healthcare field, or I even thought about engineering and architecture. My school didn't even have a pre-dental major. So I went in the pre-med track. Pretty much all the classes for my pre-med track were the same as a pre-dental track. I just didn't have like dentistry specific classes. I definitely learned a little bit about teeth and things like that in anatomy. It was just basic biology and anatomy and uh, medical terminology kind of things. I didn't learn anything really specific to dentistry. That's kind of one thing that I regret because now that I'm going to be starting dental school next month, I'm a little afraid that I might be behind my other classmates just because I don't have the kind of knowledge that a pre-dental major would give you. So when I was choosing my undergraduate school, the main thing for me was finding a school that would accept my college credits, my dual credits from high school, and a school that was cheap. So the school that I went to was perfect because they accepted all of my college credits and they accepted my AP scores. So I did save a lot of money just from that. In high school, I took almost or about 30 credits of courses from our local community college. I was lucky because all of those classes were free so I almost got one whole year of free school. Because I only had to take one or two more classes to get a full year of school off, I took some summer school at the University of Hawaii which I had a scholarship for so those credits were also free and all of these credits allowed me to graduate a year early. So not only did I save money on tuition, but I also saved money on cost of living. That saved me from spending money on housing and food and other expenses that I would be spending in that last year of schooling in Arizona. I think I spent less than $20,000 for three years of school, and that includes housing and all that kind of stuff. Because I saved so much money in my undergraduate 
schooling. I would be happy to go really anywhere for dental school. I just knew in the back of my head that I had already saved a good amount of money for undergrad. So to me, it really wasn't that big of a deal to invest all this money in dental school just because I invested so little in my undergraduate career. It really doesn't matter what undergraduate you go to. You just need to make sure that your grades and your extracurriculars are really up to par because you want to make sure that you are a great applicant if you're trying to look for an undergrad right now or if you're in high school trying to figure out what schools you should apply to i personally think that you should just try your best to find places that will save you money i know that a lot of people maybe your parents or people from school might say something about you like for me it was really hard for me going to undergraduate because i was my high school's valedictorian and a lot of people said a lot of bad things like why did she go to this school because it was so easy to get into and a lot of people thought that I was like wasting all the energy I put in high school but I mean I was happy with where I was going a lot of people said a lot of bad stuff about me for going to the school I was going to but honestly just do whatever makes you happy and whatever you think is the right path for you so for me it's really important to find a place that saved me a lot of money to help me get to graduate school and if you're struggling finding an undergraduate school or if you're an undergrad right now feeling a little lost don't worry because it's okay and i'm a strong believer that everything happens for a reason and if you're sitting there worried that the undergraduate school that you chose or the program that you chose or the path that you're on might jeopardize your ability to get into some kind of graduate school whether that be dental school medical school or um, your master's i honestly think you should just sit back and relax because your grades the person you are and your extracurriculars should be strong enough to really get you wherever you need to go. And I think one thing you might wanna consider when choosing the undergraduate school to go to, say you are really, really big on going to um, UCLA School of Dentistry, you might want to try and go to UCLA's undergrad because they might have, I don't know, some kind of program that'll either guarantee you an interview or just kind of put you at like a prioritized um, applicant. I'm not sure if that happens for every school, but in Arizona, there is AT Still and Midwestern. And I believe AT Still kind of prioritizes students to go to undergrad in Arizona. When I was applying to AT Still, they I think they asked if I went to one of the Arizona schools. And so I went to GCU and I, I think there's some kind of thing that goes on but I'm not too sure. I did get an interview at AT still and I didn't go so I'm not sure if me going to GCU gave me a one-up but um, that's what happened. I don't know if I included everything that I wanted to say but yeah I think that the undergraduate school you go to really doesn't matter as long as you do well and um, you stay true to yourself and you make sure you get the right prerequisites and you save that money because money is really important especially when you're paying for your education or if you have all these plans for your future but i hope you are staying happy and healthy and good luck with whatever you are doing in life and hope you have a nice day bye